Having choices is important. Some choices are inconsequential. Others have a lifetime impact. Not many choices compare with educating our future leaders. So why is Phil Murphy trying to stop kids from getting the best possible education? Phil Murphy is promising a comprehensive review, he really does love studies, of charter school law. He has also signaled he will halt the expansion of charter schools, which occurred under Christie. Not surprisingly, Murphy's backers at the NJEA are applauding the decision. You know who's not applauding the decision? Parents of at-risk inner city children who will now have less options. New Jersey has nearly 100 charter schools, most in inner cities. There's a reason that when these schools come to town, there's a lottery to get in. They simply do a better job of educating students in these areas. Where Asbury Park School District spends over $30,000 per student and graduates about three-fourths of the students, most who are not college ready, the average charter school spends half that with much greater results. Why? Simple. Free markets always win. If the charter school does poorly, it closes and a new one comes along to replace it. If the district school does poorly, it just gets more money without addressing the problems. It's time to stop using children as political footballs to line the pockets of the NJEA. There's no better time to be pro-choice than with education.